Okay, this is just a pickup of where we left off the other day. Got my new parts in from the Tube Depot. Check them out. Good prices. Got them shipped quickly. And here's the new part. Cliff. Jack. I ordered two of them. And... I'd already unsoldered this. Just pop that out of there. Then we're going to pop the new one in. Hard to do with one hand. Come on, then. There we go. set this down a second because it's hard to do with one hand okay the new one is setting in there now just to solder it in place on these four points here of course I'm not going to be able to hold the camera and solder them so I'll be right back with that and that didn't take long to get that soldered in. Take a look at the little connections and make sure they're good. Give it a little wiggle, see if it doesn't move around. Don't want to put this thing all the way back together and find out it didn't make a good connection. Now just to put everything back in place. Looks like they lined up pretty good. So just to put the nuts back on them. Then I'll put the screws back in the holes. And there were some screws that went through the heat sink. And then to make the connections back, I didn't I didn't unplug any of this. I just took it all apart and flipped it over where I could have access to the back side. So I'll make sure these wires are all in from caught from underneath and before I secure it down. So it really didn't take long at all to do the actual job. It took longer to take it apart and put it back together than it did to um, actually replace the jack that was bad. Just a few screws to replace. Uh, still got a few more to put in here. And then I should be done with it. Well there you have it. It's all back together. All the screws are back in. I'm just going to put it back in the cabinet now and secure that, and then we'll give it a try. It's been placed back in the cabinet. Uh, there's four screws that go through the bottom, then just to put the back trim and all back on it. Once again, I'll give a shout out to the Tube Depot. And there you have it. It's all back together. It was four screws here. Take this cover off. Then four screws on the bottom of the amp. And then that whole thing just slides right out. Going to pull one of these babies off and uh, plug in see what we got. And we're back in business with the...